got the funky sound You want it then, then I'm gonna get down Who got the funky sound? You want it then, then I'm gonna get down Like, who got the funky sound? You want it then, then I'm gonna get down Like, who got the funky sound? You want it then, then I'm gonna get down Like, who got the funky sound? You want it then, then I'm gonna get down Who got the funky sound? You want it then, then I'm gonna get down Like, who got the funky sound? You want it then, then I'm gonna get down Like, who got the funky sound? You want it then, then I'm gonna get down Like, Who got the funky sound?
So we're coming up on that nine o'clock hour, but I promised you a story time and uh, I'm gonna give you a story time. This stream is usually transmitted on, or podcast is probably a better word, on Twitch, on Reddit, on Facebook, and on YouTube. And so it was yesterday as well. Yesterday, I got my second warning for, what is it, spam, uh, disturbing, not not disturbing, um, uh, content that's not supposed to be there, or scam. And since this was my second warning, it also gave me one strike. Meaning that today, the stream is not going on YouTube and it won't be for another week until that strike. Uh, well, the strike won't clear up until the end of May or something like that. And it took me a while to figure out what it might be because it's, it's not the music. The music will just be uh, either it will be muted or the uh, stream will be blacked out until the copyright claim content goes away. And it, it won't get reported or taken down because of that. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And I, since I had one more warning previously, where I did a collaboration stream together with an art streamer, I thought that maybe they didn't really like that I was using a different streamer's content inside my own content at the same time. Even though I had permission from the streamer, I may not have had permission from Twitch, so to speak, because it's not supposed to be multi-stream unless you're non-affiliated like I am. But then I figured out, not from reading the guidelines, not from reading anything that YouTube or Google has published, because in their infinite wisdom and transparency, the thing that made me figure it out was a hassle, like, what's it called? Like, passing by comment in one of their guideline videos. My bot that is running on Twitch and is in coordination with Restream Bot, meaning that if you post a comment on YouTube, it'll show up on chat on Twitch and vice versa. So if you post a comment on Twitch, it'll show up on YouTube. It is taking the shout outs and timed messages from Twitch, which contains links to other sites. So it contains links to my Kofi, it contains links to other Twitch streamers, and it's posting that in the YouTube chat. That is considered spam. And it's considered a scam because I'm reposting links within the same broadcast. That's why I haven't gotten it before, because if I'm running a one hour stream like I usually do in the morning, then it's no issue because the messages don't repeat often enough. But yesterday I did a three hour stream and the stream before that when I got a strike or a warning was a four hour stream. That's why it triggered. So now I have a strike on my YouTube channel. It'll go away eventually, but it seems like I cannot have my bot running on multiple services at once because YouTube will complain. So that's my story time for this morning. I have one more track for you and uh, then that's gonna be it for this morning. We are already on nine o'clock, but yeah, one more track. I will be back tomorrow morning. It is Thursday. So tomorrow we're doing organic house and down tempo. And then on Friday, it's Freeform Friday. So we'll do something fun. Today. I have an inkling of where I'm going with that as well, but you'll have to be here on Friday to figure it out. Thank you so much for hanging out on Twitch, on Reddit, and Facebook, and sadly enough, not on YouTube this morning. Let's get one more track out, shall we?